today I am here in a beautiful Virginia Keene Beach. It's actually a dog beach in Miami. Now, why are we here today? I have a business partner. His name is Steven. He actually joined our organization just under about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And uh, he is a little terrified, a little scared of getting out there and talking to people on the street for his business because he's in real estate just like I am, but he wants to shoot content and he wants to ask people who live in Miami what they think about living here, what their experience has been, what they don't like about living in Miami. And we're out here today trying to support him and help him and teach him how easy it is to just get over your fears. Would it be okay if we did a quick video with you guys and asked a few questions or fine if you guys are, are that's fine. Uh, we're doing a quick uh, YouTube j channel. Is it okay if we do a quick video? Right now, right now? Yeah. Okay. We could get the dog in there if you want. All right, so we have Mamba the Chocolate Lab and Tiffany here from Miami. We are in Virginia Key at the Dog Beach. Tiffany, how long have you lived in Miami here? Um, for a few months, since December. Oh, awesome. Where'd you come from? Denver. Denver, wonderful. What do you think of the weather? It's great. That's yeah, so we have Luna here at the Dog Beach and Taz. Taz is a little shy. <laughs> Wonderful. Found these nice birthday people on the beach here in Virginia Key. They're local Miami people. Wanted to ask them what uh, what do you guys think is the biggest change you've seen, um, I guess, in Miami over the past course of your 20, 25 years here? Lots of New Yorkers and Californians moving <laughs> down here. Absolutely. How do you feel about the New Yorkers coming down here? <laughs> I used to it, I think. So you're probably affected pretty hard by the increase in rentals. Yeah. What, uh, what do you think, I guess, is the future for Miami? Do you see this consistently going or do you think we'll plateau maybe by the end of the year it should come back a little down who knows we'll see <laughs> yeah we're hoping for that what i guess are the biggest fears that you have about living in miami if any um that i won't be able to afford to live here anymore <laughs> um but i mean I, I i hope so i i'm starting to see it things kind of slow down a little bit yeah working in the market absolutely um, so I'm hoping that means um, things will start to... Some trends will start to change yeah. for us. So I'm super proud of Steve. He's coming out of his shell really, really good. Uh, he just needed a little little push, a little nudge. And sometimes that's all we need, guys, is just someone to believe in us because we hardly believe in ourselves. So if you guys uh, are scared to do something, just stay tuned because we're going to go and check out a couple more places and we're going to put them in a hot seat and see how, how well he does. But if you guys are on the fence about doing something like this or going out on a limb and doing something that's uncomfortable, guys, just go out there and do it. He was telling me earlier that he's scared because he, you know, he doesn't know how people are gonna react. But I told him the worst that someone's gonna say is exactly what happened earlier. You know, they just, they, you don't want to be in front of the camera, but no one's gonna yell at you or, or curse you out. And a lot of times we tell ourselves that people are gonna be that way, whether it's picking up the phone and making the call, door, or knocking on the door, going up to strangers, starting a conversation with somebody in the grocery store. It doesn't matter, guys. There's always opportunity there. And one of the people he met today is actually another real estate agent. So maybe somebody he could partner up with in the future. You just don't know. But let's go ahead and keep trying to see what else he, uh, he can get himself into today. We're here, live in Brickell. <laughs> Not only is Brickell one of the hottest areas in all of Miami, but it's a place where people love to come and hang out and just have a good time. But today we're going to be trying to help Steve meet some very interesting people right on the boardwalk. Here we go, ask some people. Damn. Bunch of moms. Hey, excuse me guys, sorry to bother you. Uh, my name's Steve, we're doing a quick uh, couple of shots for our YouTube video. Oh, okay, no, no worries. They're at work. Uh, working? working, yeah. Oh, these guys? <laughs> what uh, What neighborhood do you guys live in Miami? Brickle. In Brickle? Right in Brickle yeah. Awesome, how long have you lived here? A year. A year? And you like Three, it so far? Two years, pretty much me. Did you move for the pandemic? Yeah. Yeah. What uh, What's your favorite things to do here in Miami? Do you guys go to the beach, boats? Boats. Boats. Definitely. Boats. Yeah. That's beach. what we do, actually. Uh, we do boat charters and sales. Oh, awesome. We'll yeah. definitely exchange information afterwards. What uh, What do you guys have as far as recommendations for people that are looking to move to Miami? I mean, everything is much better here. Even taxes, everything is much easier here. Yeah. Life is better. Absolutely. Definitely. Do you guys rent or own currently? I own. Uh, I rent. Well. And you rent. So I'm sure you've seen tremendous increases in property value, and I'm Crazy. sure you've seen tremendous increases in, yes. in rental. <laughs> what are you guys, uh, what's your predictions for the, the rental market and sales market? I don't market? think it's going to stop. It's going yeah. to still go up a lot. This is going to be Manhattan in a few years. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. What, uh, what I guess, do you, are you fearful about renting, rental increases, or? 
know, I'm gonna do, finish my rental agreement until three or four months and then uh, make a down payment. Absolutely. Start investing here. Start, Start investing. investing here. here. Absolutely. Absolutely. My own stuff. Never in my life would I stop and talk to two grown men with a fluffy dog and yeah. ask them if I could have a conversation with them. Yeah, guys who look like the property brothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly, but they were yacht brokers and the one is looking to move out of his rental yeah. into a condo in the exactly. next three to six months. So. Look at that. Yeah, client, okay. client, hello. Yeah, you're out there hanging out, having fun, and at the same time you're making money. Look Absolutely. Awesome. Long-term so, money. I don't know about you guys, but I had an amazing time today. We got to help Steve break out of his shell, and from the looks of it, I think he's gonna be just fine. But all that walking around made us really hungry, so we're gonna check out Sushi Saki right across the street from the FTX Center, where they have arguably the best sushi in all of Miami. So if you're ever in the area, you have gotta check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and down below guys let me know what is it something that you've been scared to do for the longest time and you just needed someone to give you that little push. I know that for me for a long time it was making these videos. I was definitely afraid to get in front of the camera and you had to see guys how long it took me before I was comfortable with just letting one piece of content out. And the funny thing is that when we look back many years later the best of our yesterdays are the worst of our todays so the videos that I did back then guys horrible i had no personality i really didn't even know how to talk i probably don't even know how to talk now but in the future when i see these videos i'll probably look back and be like wow i was so bad back then the, the point of my story is that we get better as we go so don't ever be scared to just take that first step do something that's going to make you uncomfortable because like i always like to say if you're not uncomfortable you're not growing and if you're not growing guess what guys you're dying so if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more let me know down below thank you guys for watching also don't forget to uh, check out the podcast we have a podcast available on apple itunes spotify just about anywhere you can listen to podcasts so uh, i'm dropping i think two or three uh, podcasts a week on there so if you guys like this kind of content go ahead and check it out over there thank you guys take care and i'll see you next time